what I mean by the non-existence of a god. I take it that you and I understand and not believe we were bioengineered by extraterrestrials? So I would focus on the universe and the old bit. Yes I am an atheist, but not your mainstream atheist, they themselves go about science religiously like a religion since. I had discovered a few things and teachings on this planet which recalled much of the basic understanding of a general science of the people that have seeded me here, just that the one message from the inhabited planets in the Orion constellation who were the original people who carried out the idea to create life on this planet alongside with those you call Pleiadians, people from Sirius and so on. First of all we live in the universe, not many people know how it functions and what it is a part of in the realm of the infinite. Mainstream atheists think the Big Bang theory is valid but fail to see the observations of reality and that in nature of reuse and recycle that things contract and expand at the same time. Everything much of the cosmos works on the basis of reuse. The universe itself like an atom like a planet, like a star and even like a human being a plant or even a tree has an energy field. People don't understand what energy is. Energy itself is the vibration of substance. Energy itself cannot exist without substance, stuff and substance, stuff cannot exist without energy. Matter itself contains smaller things that are in vibration which is the result of smaller things in vibration through infinity. Thus energy, like matter exists all around us, and makes me frustrated that people mark it and sell it, and you have to pay for the bill of them lying that they have produced it when it always existed. People have a tendency to label something they don't understand as God, and often God with the mainstream theists tend it to be an all-seeing omnipresent male entity, when actually observed is rather grouchy and conforming, trying to run people people's lives to worship it. If anyone does not comply, they would be thrown in eternal damnation and torture. This is much reflected on society by people who believe this, and in the case of extremism theistic belief in the three musketeer religions of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism, often carry out this violent will of God, thinking they are doing God a favor in this idea of mass genocide, of command and conquer which is known as a jihad or crusade. Those who feel they support the feminine observations of nature and the earth, would prefer a goddess entity instead. This goddess entity metaphors the observations of nature which in fact has a feminine feel to them, in the self-sustaining life cycle of life, as well this concept seems to awaken oneself out of the fear male conforming bullying and trolling nature and attitude of God, which had dumbed out one's ability to sense their own environment. The femininity nature of the goddess which appears to be like a magical fairy entity allows one to feel the vibration of the earth and connect into it as one's mother, and as well as the universe. Sensual meditation or sacred sexuality naturally gets birthed, in the calming freedoms with the replacement of the angry male god with a tender goddess metaphor. Some theists who believe in a creator deity have gone further to stipulate the hermaphroditic metaphor elf-like nature of the universe, in Hermantics Shiva Shakti which metaphors the implosion and explosion of the recycling self-sustaining universe. Since the deity is both male and female, the male dominance of inner nature of humanity of this planet forget the goddess attributes of the universe and nature and focus on the male. The elf-like sacred hermaphrodite gets converted back into the male grouchy entity. In the non-mainstream theists, those who tend to be spiritual rather than religious and the theism in secret societies such as the Freemasons, tend to be more agnostic. That is God is seen not as this omnipresent grouchy male douchebag of a Santa in the clouds, but the universe itself is seen as God, and the unseen energy vibrations and frequencies in relation to its geometry of attractions and repulsions, of the universal field aka Higgs field. 
Some scientists who obviously secretly in the realms of their secret societies express their belief when naming the Higgs boson as the God particle which creates more complications and misunderstandings and hype with religious entities of this planet, which is an imaginary thumbsucked particle to conclude the missing gaps in the equation of matter and observed energy vibrational paths, where they have failed to study the photon in more detail, by very noticeable points. That is photons have mass observed by their own gravity in reality. That they are the smallest existing bosons, and that their hologram universe theory supports it, even though photons themselves are not the end of infinity since they themselves are made of smaller particles in continuous vibration and spin, which the hologram universe theory fails to observe. Photons themselves are the sixth platonic solid, and cannot be seen or its geometric patterns observed in 3D space perspective but in a multidimensional tesseractic form of geometry, which in itself reflects the fractal nature of infinity. People label photons as being God as well ironically when they say God is light. There are so many things that people have named God, in some extent they even say God is everything, that would be calling infinity as God, where the matter of the fact infinity isn't an entity. People call the source of observed manufacture of things in this universe brain, as being God, when it is actually a zero-point vacuum of space, in other words a black hole. This just don't fall into black holes and remain in them, they are recycled, the galaxy for example, has a center black hole, where some people call the source. Stars and things eventually fall into it, but the components of stars and things are ejected, they clump over very long periods of time, forming atoms, then stars, planets and so on, which slowly drift back to the source again. The edges of the galaxy are mostly of young stars, and as you move to the center the stars in general age, Bar this motion is toroid, so is your aura, so is the spin of electrons around an atom, so is the spin of particles in bosons, so is the spin of the organic looking mesh of galaxy clusters in the universe. This toroid spin can be symbolized as a swastika, and the attraction and repulsive forces in the flower of life, or hexagram or also known as the star of David. I have been abused in the name of God, from the start when my parents felt that they were right with God when they mutilated my ambiguous genetella and tried to force me to grow up as a male to the point I lost my sanity and tried to escape this inflicted hell by attempting suicide, thus giving me a physical disability. I can say, I have three scars from this, one along the pineal rake of my penis where a vagina existed, one along my back, which was the result of my suicide attempt and one that's invisible, because it is a psychological scar. They even related my extraterrestrial visits as me being contacted as being demonic entities, because they see the universe that is expressed in the Bible and church indoctrinations, where the Earth is the only planet of importance not in this universe, but in this galaxy, which is nothing but a grain of sand orbiting a sparkle in the Milky Way. Which is why I say, the universe has many books, but the true universe does not exist within a book. Much love and huggles. Namaste.